Hello and welcome to At Home with Mindy. This is another shopping haul, but it's a top up shop, so you're not going to see everything we'd need for a week. Um, the freezer is quite well stacked still because of the floods at Tesco's where we live. Everything had to be sold off cheap because no customers could get into the shop basically. Um, it's completely shut. But for a few days, you could walk in, yeah, if you walked to the shop, if that makes any sense. You couldn't drive in the car park, but you could still shop in the shop. That's how I should say it. Um, so we've been to Aldi because, like I said, Tesco's are still shut. This is £42 worth of shopping. Um, I try to stick to things that I think we needed. I didn't try to Christmas is coming and I'm trying to save money, put it that way. Um right, we've got a 60p bag of onions because I like to use onions in lots of things. Two bags of potatoes for 99p each because I'm making our own chips now and I seem to be getting better at it. Um, two bottles of squash. We have apple and black currant and apple and strawberry because we seem to be going through quite a bit of that. They're 99p each. Got some wonky peppers. Uh, I'm sure they're 135. They're yellow and red. I still have some green in the freezer, all chopped up. Um, the wonky carrots, I've gone for the big bag because they had it in. This was 60p. I haven't made a carrot cake for a while, but I still won't be until I can get to Sainsbury's where eggs are a better price. And I've tried using flaxseed as an egg replacement. doesn't always seem to work for me. Uh... Especially if it's like a Victoria sponge because you can still see the seed in it. Carrot cake it might work. We've got one milk because we happened to buy one. I forgot to tell you the date. It's the 19th of November. We brought this on the 18th of November. Barry had to pick one up in the morning from one stop because um, my daughter was coming over so that her boyfriend's car could be fixed brakes needed changing or the brake pads but it also happened to be Amelia's 32nd birthday so she's getting old so I knew we'd be getting through more coffee because her and her partner drink coffee Bethany obviously doesn't because she's only 10 and Philip and Tyler were coming over as well so Barry picked up a milk in the morning so that's why there's only one there um, we brought more coffee, not needed yet, but if I show you this one, this is what we got last week, we're halfway down I'd say, uh, yeah, well, actually it's just over halfway down, um, that's one ninety nine. the custard was 75 we haven't got any in the cupboard when I looked, so I thought we will get one. Because Barry does like a bit of custard with cakes. Picked up some chimerick because I've got a spice rack. And what I'm going to do, it was a present from Amelia for me a couple of Christmas ago. I'm going to change the spices over, make them fresher ones. Because some of them, they've been in there the whole time. Uh, garlic granules, 55p I think. Peas are the only frozen veg I brought. Because um, I used quite a few last week. Two lots of Connor's milk because he's still got three in the fridge. Because he already had some anyway. But they're £1.09 and two for Yuki. 
about 50p. Um, picked up like the, they're like easy peelers but in a tin, round your own sec segments. But when I've been buying easy peelers, they seem to be sour. So I thought I'd just get a tin in case it's that we're leaving them in the house too long. And then if anybody wants it, they can help themselves. And the same with pineapple slices. We've tried buying raw pineapples and they're too much waste. Taking all the skin off, juice goes everywhere, including into my drawers. You know, un under the worktop drawers. Um, 69 and 89. Two packets of the jam and creams to share. Because it turns out we have no biscuits in the house. And two packets of the ATP fish fingers. Uh, some tomato puree, that was 59p. Oh, it's hiding. I thought I'd get some real garlic as well. That was 95p. They're not very big and they don't even smell like garlic. Normally you can smell the actual clove cut. Uh, the bulb so they're probably knackered anyway one loaf of bread 75p the hot pepperoni we've already dug into that was one pound five and we've got German salami to try I'm sure I've seen that on pizza before that was 99p the fromage fries 88p their choice of what I'd call classic biscuits in Aldi wasn't brilliant because malted milk are now 49p on their own. These were 49p on their own, the shook cake ones. And custard creams are 30p on their own. So it worked out a little bit cheaper to buy it as a like multi-pack at £1.9. Um, the rich tea were 55 we've brought another block of cheese £4.89 and the olive spread was one twenty-five. I thought that was vegan but it turns out it has got a little bit of milk because it's got wheat, wheat protein or something in it uh, yeah wheat protein or so it's only vegetarian, not vegan. So I'm going to have to pick up a uh, different one soon. Uh, three, no, four of the sieve tomatoes, 55p each. Some yoghurt, 35p. Because it turns out the frozen mango we brought ages ago is still sitting in the freezer. So I thought if I get this, I'm going to try mango and yogurt for breakfast. Uh, two bags of sugar, one we've already had to dig into this morning. Um, I've got the Ridge Crisps, they're £1.5 for six packets, but I don't believe we've bought them before so I thought we'll give them a go, but I've brought two packets because there's four of us. And I couldn't check if they were vegetarian or anything because I refuse to take my gla glasses out. Suitable vegetarian, so yeah, she can have those. We've got the Ultimate Thick Bleach. That was 79p. Um, and then lastly, we've got two packets of savoury crackers. Should have been one pound nine, no, one pound five. The reduction was seventy nine p, so I think that's twenty six p we paid for each box, because it says it there. But Barry gave a squeeze, and he said that it felt like the packets they weren't going flat as though they'd been popped.
it. It's still hopefully okay. But we've got those because a couple of weeks ago he got the squeezy cheese. So we've finally got crackers now to go with that. But that was £42.28. and pence. Did I say that the, these were 47p, they're for pizza making, which is why that one's half missing already. But that bit was the £42 worth. We have used Olio this week because um, Barry was going to pass one of the places that distribute the food and he requested it in the like lunchtime for pick up like five o'clock so he had no choice on the quantity he was given it just said pizza bases and the person divided it between everybody that asked so the person had five hours to make it smaller if they wanted to that is the pile of pizzas that were already given out to Barry and us because we thought it was 15 but we had some Friday night and then last night they had some as well. So it's four. There's about 12 there still, so we must have had nearer 20. And also was requested was some tomatoes. And that's how many we've got of those. And the person basically begged Barry to take some vegetables. Because what doesn't get collected, he has to take to the recycling centre to get turned into energy. So Barry agreed. And the man, because Barry said, we haven't tried some of the stuff before. And he said, it's the best time to try it when you're not paying for it. So that makes sense. We've got land crest. There's two bags of that. I've looked it up and it's supposed to be a bit like water crest. So I'll find a recipe that uses watercress. There's a couple of bags of green beans. And some of them look a little bit... But you've got to remember this is rescued food that would be going to landfill or if he hadn't rescued it, it's going to go and make energy. Some red gem lettuce. And there's an individually wrapped one. So I'm not sure who that's... I don't know if that's like Gusto or Hello Fresh or something, an individual one. And then um, I am interested to try this. Bok choy. So I'm thinking that make like a noodle soup and add those to it. But it also, I've looked online and it does say we can freeze that. But he insisted on taking, no, Barry having to take three packets. So we will give it a try. If I don't like it, or the people in my house don't like it, we will pass them on to Philip and make him try them. And then Katie, because she lives further away, so that's why I say Philip first. But yeah, those bits we haven't paid for, but they are going to get used. But, oh, pardon me. Um, yeah, so that's everything this week. So if you include the salad -y bits, we have got quite a lot of vegetables. Bye-bye and see you on the next video. Like, comment and subscribe as well if you'd like to.